going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another mlb 23 the show diamond dynasty video in today's video we got the no money spent journey it begins here episode number one we're going to open up our pre-order packs and talk about what we plan to do in this series going forward so about midway through the mutt 23 year and i know some of you watch my madden ultimate team video some of you don't might be new here if you are make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button for this series and all of this no money spent content um basically we started doing no money spent stuff and i changed the format of the video into this kind of diary style video where i put out one almost every day and talk about everything i do solo challenges moves on the market buying and selling like just everything and i want to keep that same form with the diamond dynasty no money spent series and this is actually my first year going no money spent so in prior years i i've spent money i've opened up packs we're gonna go no money spent this year and this is episode number one but you know going forward every episode we're gonna show you day in and day out you know the the, the programs that we're grinding the packs that we're unlocking the upgrades on the roster, cards that we're flipping, everything. The game came out basically two days ago now at this point, and I've done nothing. I haven't done anything. We'll still drop our normal content videos, going over new content, methods, all of that. But within this series, we're going to go through each and every move that we make, and we're going to start with opening up our pre-order pack. So we did get the digital deluxe version. I know some of you might not count that as no money spent. Sue me if you don't. I don't care. But we got some pre-order packs to open. Other than that, all we've done is flip cards on the marketplace. We're up to 62,000 stubs. 30 of the 62,000, I believe, came from pre-order bonuses. So we, we really only made about 32K. But I haven't had a chance to play the game as much as I really wanted to. And I'm hoping to get this team off to a good start with these pre-order packs that we have to open up here. Uh, 20 regular show packs we got a twitch drop pack it looks like we get a gold player pack i'm not sure what's in a couple of these other ones like the captain pack and the world baseball pack so let's just go ahead and open them all up and see what we get and hopefully we can get this year started off right and maybe get a diamond out of something basically whatever we get from all of these packs looks like i got six gold packs uh whatever we get from these packs are basically going to uh put up build our roster and we will take this roster and you know into whatever programs and missions and moments and start grinding that way to get some free content out of it so it looks like these are choice packs I, you know, I purchased the Digital Deluxe and I didn't really pay attention to exactly what was in it specifically. I just knew that at the end of the day, the $30 extra buying the game would probably be worth it. So we're, we're going to hope for the best here and I'm not really paying attention to detail on these choices that I'm making. I'm just really picking players that I, I probably want on the team uh, and or that could help out the squad. But I was kind of hoping that maybe these packs would give us a diamond of some, some sort in here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible at all like you're definitely going to get gold packs out of these or gold cards out of these packs here i think we got one more after this one got ourselves a nice starting pitcher there with you darvish so one more gold pack and uh, let's see what we get i think we got some decent items they are sellable too so we can always make some some stubs off of them i gotta refrain from calling them coins because i'm in you know uh madden ultimate team mode here so uh there you have it let's open up the captain pack here i'm gonna probably save the show packs for last and we're guaranteed a diamond so this is definitely a w here which one do we go with i should probably be making a, a more informed decision on this pick but i'm gonna go with mike piazza just because i know he's a good hitter as a catcher and you don't often find those i could be wrong i haven't fully studied all of the free content that you can earn i know there's a ton out there and now that we're actually going to have some very usable players on the team, I really, really look forward to uh, to grinding it out and, and getting some of these new cards. Because I'm a Cardinals fan, we got to go Tyler O'Neill here. I'm not even going to think about the other cards. So boom, there you have it. Uniforms, the, like these packs don't really matter, uh, so I'm not going to mess with them. Let's go ahead and breeze through these show packs. And if we get a diamond, that would be fantastic. If not, this is all going towards the binder and hopefully eventually... You know we can start to knock out some of these team sets it's a little different for me this year because i'm no money spent in in previous years i would open up a bunch of these packs and have enough to start working on the team collections fairly fast 
Whereas this year, it's going to take a lot more flipping, a lot less pack opening. Like, I just, you know, wouldn't recommend it. And I'll probably put out, like, my top five tips on going no money spent uh, within the next couple days. Hey, we got a gold from a free pack. Too bad it's, oh, no, we didn't pick this card. I was going to say, I thought that was a card that we, we picked earlier. Um, but I'll probably put out, like, my top five tips on going no money spent. And I'll tell you, one of them is that you don't want to open up packs with your stubs because it's a waste. Later on in the year, you can go for it for sure. But for now, early on, you need to be stacking these buying players that you actually want to use on the squad for upgrades or trying to knock out team collections. And opening up packs is not the way to go about it. At the end of the day, you might get lucky and pull a good card. But, you know, look, look, at, look at these so far. We're not really having much luck at all. We got 10 left. I've, you know, shout out to my guy, Kenny. Hopefully he's watching this video. I'm sure he is. He sent me a message that he opened up a hundred dollars worth of packs and not one single diamond. So those are the types of things that scare me. The good thing is this game in general is very easy to go. No money spent. We dropped a video yesterday going over all of the best free content that you can earn right now. And if you're a beginner, if you just got the game, definitely recommend watching that video. We'll link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment. But there's so many high overall diamond cards that you can go out there and earn for free right now. I wouldn't be in any rush to go out there and spend money on packs that are likely going to produce and give you, you know, a bunch of bronze cards and silver cards if you're lucky. If you're incredibly lucky, you'll get a gold or a diamond. Look, we got two golds now out of our, was it 20 packs or 30 packs? I think it was 20. I've lost count at this point. Um, but we got, what, three left, two left here? So I, I think the move going forward here is I'm just going to assemble a team. I'll probably generate like best pl players available as we open up our last pack. We got nothing good. Staying true to form on this series. We're going to show you every single move that we make and everything that happens. So I want to show you the loyalty bonus or whatever it was uh, that we got when we first loaded into the game. We got this free random Derek Jeter card, which I'm sure is just kind of a part of a promo. And then also our very first login reward, which didn't give us any player items but just wanted to show you everything with all of those packs open we're gonna go generate our best squad and see what they give us it looks like we're up to an 80 overall to start it out tyler o'neill and mike piazza are gonna be the two diamonds a couple golds out there cedric mullins alec bregman and whatnot xander bogart's there so this is the team that we got so far this is the team we're gonna use to start knocking out and playing through some programs to earn more free content but I wanted to get this series started out by opening up our pre-order packs, introducing you uh, to what you can expect. And like I said, we'll probably be here every single day with a video going over every single thing that I'm doing, opening up free packs and all of that. So if you're excited for the series, leave a thumbs up on the video. Can't wait to put out more content on it. And we will continue to drop other videos going over, you know, helpful information to help you out and whatnot in Diamond Dynasty. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.